Nothing in one to count. Sir Camp wheels and deals the pitch. Little looper into left field, moving over there quickly, makes the catch on the line drive. Julio Barbon ties, tags at third base and comes in to score. And the Tides have scored the first run of the night, leading one to nothing. Two pitch. Forthcoming. Swung on, a little looper into center field. Base hit. Uh, Jamal Weeks comes in and gloves it. Here comes the throw towards the plate. It will be cut off, and we're tied up at one to one as Jordan Danks scores from second. Left hander. Getting ready to deal to Chris Marrero. Line drive, left field. That's over the left fielder. And clears into the picnic area. Boy, that left here in a hurry. Oh, my goodness. That ball was hit like a bullet. Marrero got all of that. A line shot. Left fielder started going back. We could tell it was over his head. I had no idea it was going to be high enough to clear that wall. But it, a blue dart right into the picnic area, and the Tides take a 2-1 to one lead. Been in the Houston organization. A little soft pop fly behind second base. Shortstop out. Makes a diving catch. My goodness, great play by Tyler Saladino. Left-hander deals. Danks. Fly ball to center field. Fairly far deep. That'll score him easily. Weeks is back and makes the catch. But the sacrifice fly works. One and one the count. Outfield is in. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on, wrapped up the middle of base hit. Liddy scores easily from third. And the Charlotte Knights have taken a 3-2. Balls, two strikes. Runners at second and third. One down. A base hit could win it in the bottom of the ninth inning for the Tides. Zach Putnam to the belt, the pitch to David Adams. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. Knights tied the game up in the top of the third. Tides took a 2-1 lead at the bottom of the fourth. Knights tied it in the top of the seventh and took a lead in the top of the ninth. Now it's the Tides' turn to try to tie it or win it. The 1-2 pitch for the bases loaded is on the way. Strike three called, and the ball game is over. So Julio Borbon is struck out by Zach Putnam, who gets his first victory of the year as the Charlotte Knights defeat the Norfolk Tides 3-2.